Lawrence High School in Cedarhurst, New York, may look like an ordinary American high school, but there's something special going on inside these four walls. Over the last 25 years, Dr. Sullivan's students have earned over three quarter of a million dollars in grants and scholarships for our historical and behavioral research. But what do we really want? A spot on Dr. Sullivan's wall in room 329. That's when you know you've arrived. I earned my spot on the wall by studying the ethnic differences in students' perceptions of popularity. My project demonstrated that there is an additive effect of own race and own group biases in witness misidentification. So what does the busiest man on campus do with the rest of his day? In 1863, when they start singing this, they're singing about freeing the slaves. If I can get them to believe that it's us against the world, that we're trying somehow to work together to gain this recognition, the classes just work so much better. Who's he? John Brown. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> body lies mouldering in the grave. I think it's important every once in a while to give them something dramatic in order to understand how people 130 years ago felt about this song. They have to get up, they have to do it. It gets them involved, it gets a reaction. Glory, glory, keep singing. Where are we going, boys? We are going to free the slaves. Praise God, we're freeing the slaves. Why? He's like the Pied Piper. He attracts people to him. He attracts young people in particular to him and proves to them through their own work what they can achieve. The whole key to this whole thing, guys, is the war changes after the emancipation. Totally, absolutely different. We're freeing the slaves. Okay? See you tomorrow. And if I was to not cook bugs in anthropology one year, they'd be terribly disappointed. Got them. Don't let them stick to the bottom. Right. With one kid who's not in anthropology yet, who I have in another class, uh, who was running around explaining to people today what the anthropology is all about and what the bug lesson is all about because his older sisters had it. Whoa, you got a few of them. There's, there's a lot of worms. He's got he all different kinds of kids. He's got school level kids. He's got AP kids. He's got the neurotic type. He's got the apathetic type. And he comes up to, he approaches everyone with a different view. And he, he knows how to approach each child and how to attack their weaknesses and build them, make them into strengths. Why'd we do this? It would take a crowbar to get me out of high school. This is really, really what I like to do. This is, this is where I want to be. If there is such a thing as fate and destiny, this is what I was supposed to do. What do I remember most about Dr. Sullivan's class? The walking tour, hands down. Funny story, I was so excited when I described the trip I took with my AP American History class in 2008 that my boss is letting me use a personal day to help chaperone this year's tour in April. My Lawrence friends are all jealous.